Hey everyone, my name is Ray and welcome to this video. Just a disclaimer, not every single week at uni is this busy. This one just had more going on than usual. So it might not be the most accurate representation of every single week in uni, but it certainly was accurate for this week. Enjoy! Good morning and Welcome to my life as an international student at Western Sydney University. I don't make breakfast in the morning because honestly I couldn't be bothered to. I'm just gonna have some strawberries, a banana, and my new favorite breakfast go-to, up and go. So I'm just about ready to head out. Let me show you guys the view that gives me life every single morning. But unfortunately, I'm not going there right now. It's not where my first class will be today. So my first class is called photojournalism and it's right here at the Parramatta South Campus. So you must be wondering like, I said that my first class is photojournalism even though I'm an engineering major. So like there's this thing called electives in university where basically you're free to choose whichever subject you want. And I was recommended to choose an engineering subject, but I already had three core engineering subjects. And, and for my fourth subject, I wanted something fun and new. So I went with photojournalism. I don't think it'll affect my course progression or anything like that. I mean, I certainly hope not. So you're gonna set your own standard around it? The name essentially gives away what the subject is about and today's class we were just discussing the philosophical side of photojournalism. And since it's a project-based subject, I just have to produce a 20 image portfolio at the end of the semester. But that's not as easy as it sounds. So these are the kind of photos that they're expecting. Like super dramatic storytelling journalist kind of photos. They do. And these are the kind of photos that I typically take. So like you can clearly see it's very much out of my comfort zone. The only thing that I'm finding hard is just like who should I be photographing? I do have like a lot of ideas on who I want to photograph but almost all of them have rejected my offer to be photographed. I mean I kind of get it like imagine if someone just comes up to you and be like hey can I take a photo? Like you'd probably say no unless they were wearing like an ID tag or something which I don't have. Mm, I guess it's all right like it's good to step out of your comfort zone so you could grow further. I'm super excited for what I'm going to be doing next though. That was so fun, oh my god. So like, I've always wanted to make a terrarium, but I never quite got the opportunity to. But this was actually like my closest attempt to it so far. <laughs> I think I'll be attending a lot more social sessions now. So that's about all the in-person things I had scheduled for today. My next class is an online class, and I don't want to do it at this campus, so let's go somewhere else. I'm back at the beautiful Parramatta City campus. So this is actually the business and law building, meaning I don't actually have any classes here. But I keep coming back to this place for a few reasons. Firstly, the vibes and just the design of this building is so appealing to me. Secondly, they've got the most variety of seating options, although they're usually taken.
Okay, I just printed my practical notes and I'll be going over these tonight because I've got three experiments tomorrow. <laughs> it's 5 p.m. now and the lights are turning on all around Parramatta Square and I'm done for today. That was actually a pretty productive Monday. Let me introduce you to the Engineering Innovation Hub. I've got a materials engineering tutorial at 9 o'clock and I'll give you guys a tour after that. Wow, Wednesday already? Time flies, doesn't it? On Wednesdays, I typically don't have any classes in school, so usually I just find myself staying at home and completing my schoolwork or studying for whatever seems. But I was feeling a bit extra today. You'll see what I mean in a minute, but I do have a few things to do here in Parramatta, so let's get this done. I need some skincare products, specifically like a face cream with retinol and a face mask. Why does shopping gotta be so overstimulating? I couldn't really find a face mask, but I think this will do just fine. It's a super hydrating water gel, which is kind of what I wanted. And I got the retinol. Perfect. That's all the shopping I needed to do. So right now I'm heading towards the library because I have a math test tomorrow and I wanna go over some of my study material beforehand. This is my first time in the science building. I'm excited.
On Wednesday, I came back home at around 3 p.m. and I didn't really find myself doing anything school related throughout the day. I must add though, the titration competition went really smoothly. I had imagined it so differently in my head. I knew that it was open for everyone, but I had fully expected some like serious chemistry majors to show up and just wipe the floor with everyone else, but they didn't. Actually, no one did. So like only three people showed up and it was a competition. A competition that had prizes for first, second, third, meaning I won something just for showing up. But anyway, thinking back at it now, I'm taking it as like a pleasant reminder of us to just like go for it, just do it. I could have continued overthinking and just stayed at home, but I'm so glad that I went out, had fun during the experiment and possibly want something. Last semester, I intentionally avoided so many social sessions, which I'm really starting to regret now. I guess it was my first semester, so I was new and shy and I, and I was trying to figure out how uni works, but still, I definitely could have gone to some of them. There's so many people in the world who wish they had these kind of opportunities, and I guess I'm just trying to remind you and myself to not take what we get for granted. Friday is another one of those days that I don't have any classes, which means I'm free to do whatever I want. Right now, I'm at a nature reserve, which is the closest to where I live, and I visit this place quite a lot. It's just so calming, and especially after a stressful week of school, it's really nice to reconnect with nature and just cleanse your mind a bit. so therapeutic. I wish I could have stayed a bit longer. So now I'm going towards my local bottle recycling place because I've got a few bottles that need recycling and then I'll head to Woolworths which is like right next door just, just to get like two things. That was all the outings that I had planned for Friday, but I still had some school-related work to do at home. The first thing that I did at home was finish writing an article for my school's newspaper, which is known as What's Up News.
this is something that I do from time to time because last year I was the editor of my high school's newspaper and the yearbook. So this is something that I'm very familiar with and I also really enjoy doing. Okay, and the next thing I wanted to do was work on my materials engineering project, which basically just requires me to make a poster on the topic, the biomedical applications of titanium and its alloys. Fancy, right? This poster is due in like a month and it's a group project. So I'm just slowly adding on to it. 